Morning guys, I just took care of some business with my team uh, down in LA and I'm driving back to Santa Monica to, well not ride today because my schedule kind of, I think changed or I just didn't look at it right and I, don't, I have today off so I can send, spend Friday off doing stuff. I think I'm going to go to Venice Beach maybe or not do anything in particular. I'm not going to phone calls, so I'll talk to you guys in a bit. That's kind of scary. Whoa. Beautiful day in Santa Monica. I like how they have the second floor blocked off. So you can't jump off, but not the sixth floor. That makes total sense. Chilling out on the beach, walking out. Shooting some movie right there. Piers right there. Water, mountains, uh, building, cliff, building. It's hanging out, pretty relaxing day. I don't know what's going on. Mellow. <laughs> uh, it's nice though. Very nice out here. I'm getting tired walking though. That's kind of a bad sign. But I've been walking for a long time. We came from way over there. Check out the water. Going under the pier. Spooky. Huh. It's kind of cool under here. Treasure hunters. Does anyone know the purpose of having boats under the pier? Why is there a boat right there? Or a ladder? Under the pier, kind of random stuff. Can you see like the dark stuff, that little line on the horizon? That's pollution, dirty stuff. Oh, you can see it better from up here. Zoom, flip, zoom. Yeah, gross air. So like I said, today's been pretty mellow. I haven't done anything not really at all, I just walked around. It's pretty cool, uh, the third street is like right over there and my hotel is somewhere over there. And uh, my car <laughs> with all our, uh, well you can't see, but all our bikes are up in here. And something is dying in my car because it smells, oh man. Like, we, we had chicken in here from, uh, like, sat in here for a while. That smelled bad, then that went away. Now I have some other awful smells coming from here. Hmm. Like this, this is where I'm storing all my glasses. Right here on the floor of my car. <laughs> Not all of them. I got another, uh, that's full of <laughs> more glasses. Oh, there's my headphones. Um, yeah. But I just read a comment from someone, I can't, I don't have my phone with me so I can't look, but they're like, every clip's like a hour fashion show. <laughs> I laughed. It's funny. At some point I gotta show you where I'm staying, but it's really awkward because I'm staying in a hostel and there's like random guys from like, uh, out of the country there and they're kind of been sleeping all day. But, yeah. I'm gonna put my shoes on. Oh, and I also, uh, I don't know why I'm like halfway in my car. I'm not listening. I started an awesome conversation today with with a, a very attractive young lady about Tom shoes. Randomly, she walked by with me. I'm like, oh, I like your shoes. Kind of weird to say that, but I was like, hey, Tom, so they're cool. I have a pair right here. Huh? See, Tom's. She's like, yeah, I just love them. I just got them. And I started a conversation. Yeah, I'm a player. Or I got game, or you know, one of those skills of communication. <laughs> I'm putting my shoes on because last night I walked around the pier in a short sleeve shirt and um, flip flops, and I froze. So I'm preparing. I have a jacket on, and I'm gonna put a pair of shoes on. Not my Toms, regular shoes. Actually, shoes that uh, a lot of people don't like me to wear. But well, one person, brother's girlfriend, doesn't like me wearing them. They're just thrasher shoes. They're my uh, longboarding shoes. So I'm probably gonna another day off in a few days. I'm gonna I'm gonna longboard from here 
all the way to Venice and back. It's going to be four miles round trip on a skateboard. And uh, I'm, I'm, I have a feeling I'm probably going to be really, really sore. But I think I can do it. I think I have the skills to push myself. There's really a lot of people. Kids. Don't you hate when you walk into an elevator and you can smell the person that was just here? I think that's kind of weird and gross. And like, it's like a woman wearing a lot of perfume, like a little woman. It's just like, poop perfume. This is handy. Hands on tender. Cover your cough. <coughs> oh. It smells bad. <gasps> Grilled cheese and tomato soup Wednesdays. Yes! It's Friday though. So that sucks. Hey guys, I've been looking for one of these. Yeah. <laughs> Bobbin. Jesus. What's that? Actually, this shirt will be really good on you. No one. You think it'll fit though? Yeah. You know. Last time you saw me <laughs> was in France, I think. And uh, I think some of you asked where I was. I'm Austin's teammate. Oh, it was like when we were on the track racing bicycles around the world. So now. We're no longer in France, and we're in Santa Monica, California, walking down the Third Street Promenade, looking for a lot of things, but primarily right now, we are looking for street performers. And uh, for some reason, there's not as many uh, as we thought there were gonna be, but it's still pretty exciting. It's pretty sweet out. I'm like, here, this too. This street is pretty awesome. So, yeah, so we're here together now. I'm um, riding our bikes some more for, yep. for a week. And, uh, yeah, that's about staying in a hostel. Staying in a hostel, which, let me tell you, is, is a different experience. Uh, if you've never stayed in a hostel before, um, you're in for a treat. It's, uh, <laughs> It's pretty exciting, actually. You, you, you meet a lot of people, and uh, I should probably put on your face. You uh, what? No. You uh, I don't know. Like in our room, there's eight people, and all one guy. Day, one guy's been asleep since six. Yeah, there's been someone sleeping in our room all day, and uh, it's like, what, what do you do? I mean, do you be quiet at noon and 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 try and respect it, or are you just like you say screw it and be and make noise, turn the lights on? Yeah, so I don't know. I just pretty much said, you know, F all and... and just like that. Now street performers. I can do that. Dude, there's a lot of stuff in there that was stinking up my car. Not just feta. Feta? Oh, that might have been it. Yeah. Moldy tortilla wraps. Chief, you got all this like <laughs> turkey? Where one of my cars smells like a freaking <laughs> gross ass refrigerator that. Oh. We're gonna give the homeless, but we're just gonna leave the bag right there. And lock it? No, don't. Oh, shit. Sorry. You can have fun. But we're leaving the food here. We're gonna give it to homeless, but we don't wanna get, give them like some like really bad diarrhea. But, you know, keep the nutrients in them and everything. So, and guys, I'm packing more of my car. What are you getting there, buddy? Why do you have a purple jersey? It's from the Rev, the Revo, the Revolution. Oh. So I got my numbers on it. This jersey <laughs> is it's still dirty. And it smells good. It's got its numbers on it from beginning of November. Gross. All right. And huh? for all you book readers out there, 
Can't wait to read this. It's uh, Left for Dead. It's kind of not really a sequel, it's just another side of the story to In a Thin Air. I think it's gonna be good. Anyway. Is it based on the video game? Video game? I don't think there's I don't think there's such a thing. There's a, there is a Left for Dead video game. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah. I think this is more like mountain climbing, like Everest. Just wanted to clear that up. Yeah, it's not the video game. Can we can we go back to our wait, humble wait, wait, abode? Wait, wait. Can't forget your shoes and uh, our somewhat non-spoiled food that we're gonna eat before our five-hour ride tomorrow. I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>